If you were to ask anyone about who Princess Daisy is, the majority of people will probably just say, oh, she's Luigi's girlfriend, and not much else after that. And that's fair enough. I mean, how much do we really know about Princess Daisy? She's one of the most underrated and underdeveloped characters in the Mario universe. So I think it's time we showed this little old princess some love. Princess Daisy made her first appearance in Super Mario Land on the Game Boy in 1989. As her name would imply, she's the princess and ruler of... Sarasa Land. You know, this place. Now here's where things get pretty fun already. The name Sarasa Land comes from the textiles imported by Portuguese traders from India to Japan during the Edo period. The textiles eventually became more well known with their Portuguese name, Sarasa. Sarasa, however you pronounce it. Sarasa textiles are very common for having floral patterns. Multiple contrasting colors and beautiful flowers made up the designs. This is why Princess Day Daisy is named after a flower. So that's how Princess Daisy got her name. Definitely a lot more history than one might have wanted, but still interesting nonetheless. Now at this point, all we have is a name and something that resembles a face. Daisy didn't really have any defining characteristics, so after this game, she was put on an early hiatus. As the Mario series went on, we were graced with so many new and memorable characters, but a lot of them were creatures of sorts. There weren't many human characters in the Mario universe, so to balance that out, Daisy was completely reimagined and brought back to the series. Her overall design kind of resembled Princess Peach, in the sense that it's a pretty girl in a dress. So to counteract that, they packaged Daisy with a completely new personality. She became a tomboy of sorts, very extroverted and tough not your everyday damsel in distress. She's always full of energy and confidence. Her stance usually involves her hands resting on her hips, giving off a very sassy Sally-like demeanor. Same goes for her victory poses. I like it, but there's definitely someone else who likes it a lot more than I do. Luigi! Princess Daisy and Luigi are a couple, but what makes this relationship more interesting than any other in the Mario universe is that these two actually have some type of dynamic personalities. Here's what I mean by that. Luigi is very shy and timid, he doesn't have a ton of confidence, and he's very introverted. While Princess Daisy is the complete opposite. She's very brash and outgoing, not afraid to show how she feels to anyone. These contrasting personalities make a cute formula. Opposites really do attract. Mario and Peach, the perfect guy and perfect girl. No, 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 I'm not interested in that. Please, please go away. Princess Daisy also now has an affinity for flowers because, you know, she's named after one, I guess. In the game Fortune Street for the Wii, she can be quoted with saying, Yeah, sure, big castle, woo, I'm totally impressed could use a few more flowers though. This can also be seen with her attire, having flowers on her earrings, crown, and Iron Man chest piece thing. In almost every Mario sports game that utilizes a super move, Daisy will have some type of epic flower designs in the background while she executes the attack. And lastly, her color scheme. It obviously resembles that of a real-life Daisy, having the orange, yellow, and white tones to them. This works out really well because of what those colors symbolize. They're very bright and happy colors, usually associated with vibrancy and energy, which is exactly just a handful of words that could perfectly describe Princess Daisy. It's a shame that Daisy isn't a more prominent character. I mean, hell, Rosalina has already reached a higher level of popularity. Why? Is it the cute emo hair thing she's got going on? It's probably that. Despite Daisy's firecracker personality, she's treated more like that quiet and shy girl that gets drowned out by the world. Daisy is kind of like that cool girl who shares all of your interests, but she's always outshined by the ones who are just so pretty to look at. People often value what's on the outside more than what's on the inside. You know, the things that make a person special. Princess Daisy is more than just another pretty-faced damsel in distress. You can't judge a book by its cover. Open the book, read it, spend time with it. You never know how much you just might fall in love.